Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I'd like to showcase for you guys the first 60 minutes of Final Fantasy XIV. In this video we'll be briefly talking about the character creation process, early questing, and early gameplay. So immediately after finishing the opening cutscene, you'll be dropped into the character creation interface where you'll be given six races to choose from if you've purchased the full game, or five uh, races if you are currently on the free trial. Unlike in Final Fantasy XI, you have access to all races with both genders, and you also are able to choose a subrace. The character customization options are about what you would expect out of any modern RPG, the ability to customize hair, styles, uh, nose length, uh, things of that nature, as well as what your tail looks like. Assuming you choose to create your character from scratch rather than randomly generating the appearance, I would say the process of creating your character will take around 10 minutes, give or take. The last few steps of creating your character are going to include following a specific god, which has a minor influence uh -huh. over your resistance stats, and also choosing your character's starting class, which also chooses where your character starts from, something that some people may not entirely like, but you can always uh, change your class and go visit the other locations later on. Finally, choose a server that's available to you and it will pop you right into game in the city that corresponds with your class. Uh, from here, there's going to be a quest guy right in front of you which will get you started on a long quest chain inside of the city. These early quest chains that you have in all three of the cities are going to try to move you throughout the city to explore all of the locations and see all of the scenery as you complete tasks that are strictly within the city and also strictly non-combat. Also, if you're smart about doing the early quests, you'll see these Aether Crystals floating around where you can right-click on them and attune your character to them. And the reason you want to do this is that these little Aether Crystals allow you to teleport between locations later on, so it's a good idea to pick them up as you go along with these early quests. If you complete all of the quests within the city back to back, then you will end up level 3 before you even fight a single monster. Now as far as early game MMO quests go, the amount of time it takes to complete these rounds around the city is a little longer than normal. Expect to spend probably 15 or 20 minutes alone in completing those quests. So when you do get around to heading outside in order to do some of the monster slaying quests, you'll be confronted with combat which is relatively simplistic, at least initially. So like many, if not most, other MMOs out there, um, though less in recent years, it's a hotkey-based MMO where uh, basically you have skills that you want to press to do damage to your opponents, and then you also have auto attacks which will occur, obviously, uh, by themselves automatically, um, though most of your damage does come directly out of the skill button pressing. All of the quests which require killing a specific monster have a 100% drop rate, so you won't get frustrated with that. And as you hit probably around level 4 or 5, you're likely to be introduced with another skill. With the Gladiator class that I was trying, it gives you Savage Blade, which requires you to combo Fast Blade into Savage Blade to do the maximum damage uh, up until at least level 10 or so. Also, the game likes to throw in long cooldown abilities, which may increase your defense or increase your offensive damage, uh, even from relatively early on levels. So as you complete the monster slaying quests, the game will try to move you further out into the landscape to visit questing hubs where you can get uh, quests that are more appropriate to level 5 plus characters, and you complete those and you move on to the next quest hub, you level up, and that's going to be most of your early game experience in Final Fantasy XIV. If I recall, you can start doing dungeons or instances around level 15, but it's definitely going to take longer than an hour to hit there. It's realistic to maybe hit around level 10 with an hour and a half of play, give or take, depending on your level of skill. So, that's going to be it for this video, introducing the first one hour of gameplay within Final Fantasy XIV. I've been Dark Skeleton, hope you enjoyed taking a look at this video, especially if you're about to try the game out, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.